Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sam here with my Yes, I Am Mina first photo book unboxing. So here we have just the pink version. I am getting the gray version as well, obviously, but I went from With Drama and they only sent one version so far. So waiting for the second version, but we're gonna open it and see the contents now because I am pretty sure, I'm actually quite confident that the contents are the same. For both books just um, in terms of the photos inside you do get different cards and um, covers obviously though so let's take a look first here is the cover take off the plastic out box you have here beautiful cover and this is a really big book just like Chewie's photo book. I believe it is the same dimensions as Chewie's book. Same concept, like well not con different concept in terms of photo shoot, the same like font here and um, amount of things that you get. So first off we have, this is the accordion postcard book. Here we have, this is first Mina solo photo book. Said it was fun. And uh, yeah, take a look. Sorry, I don't understand everything she wrote. Beautiful photos. Blonde Mino, it's really legendary. And Mino looks good in every hairstyle and color, obviously, but I think her blonde look kind of uh, accentuated her like mysterious vibe, you know? Like here with this like wet hair concept. Really like unique look, truly. Okay, there was the accordion book thing. Put it back later. Here we have the actual photo book. Now it does come with two photo cards because we did get the pre-order in on time. So let's find them, here we go. So because we only found, I believe, these two cards means we didn't get the signed special card. It's okay. Wasn't expecting that anyway, because those are really rare. Here we have the cards. Whoa. Holographic. Shines almost as bright as Mina, but not, not quite. Right. Mina really shines in the ethereal look. Okay, now we have, ooh, oh my God, stunning, stunning first picture. Grabs this right off the bat. Okay. Like I said, ethereal look, suits me a lot. She's really an embodiment of like a fairy, right? And I remember, I think she mentioned that a lot of these, if not all of these, um, like stylings were influenced at least by her choices. It's like what she wanted to do. And this first one, the outfit, um, the dress that she's wearing, I think it's a dress, I'm not an expert in that, like clothing, um, but it's uh, very flowery. Match with the flower crown. Kind of gives me um, Midsummer's Night string vibes, you know? The Shakespeare. And here we have me next to a flower, but all you can really see is Mina. Ooh, crisp. Pages still brand new. I don't know if you heard that sound, but and her stare is really captivating. It's a shame that I can't zoom out anymore because like the angle's a little off. It's amazing side profile as well. Ooh. 
earrings really pretty. Flowers as well. Yeah, I think Mina matches flowers really well. Of course, Mina beats flowers though in terms of beauty. This, for some reason, gave me um, no Rapunzel vibes, even though her hair isn't that long. I don't know, just a uh, real princessy. That's not me over there. That's just the ladder. Yeah, I wish I had a better angle for this. You guys, this is, sorry, this video's not gonna do it justice. The book, ooh, even in black and white. I think sometimes you see black and white kind of loses some of the effect, but when done right, like here you can like, Mina shines through even more so than a normal color picture. Oh, and it's like a whole like sub concept. Some with a braided ponytail. And now, oh, now here we go. Here's the color. Not quite um, the mint Mina green color. A little more of a greenish mint here. And even though she's just wearing casual like t-shirt and high-waisted shorts, for some reason this gives me like ballet vibes. You know, Mina the ballerina. Right, it gives, gives like the classy, like high-end ballet room feeling. Here we go. Ooh. She's sitting on a bed. Some like memory foam going on there. This is um very like cabin warm vibes to this, right? Even though it's a huge window here, it really gives off the like, woodsy, outdoorsy feel. Sorry if I'm talking too much. I just want to give my opinions. Oh, and that stare again. It's hard to not get absorbed in those eyes. And uh, this concept is oh, the cat. Um, it's like stay at home, you know, warm, but also kind of like wintry, you know, you have like the heater on and it's, uh, you know, a warm, but cold today. It's a very like high fashion y outfit, I feel. Because it's like um, the top is. You know, very summerish, but with the oversized jacket, kind of completes the outfit, and the pants are kind of big too. And like the way her hair is, you know, subtle waves in it. I don't know, kind of a uh, all fits together, kind of like a hipsterish vibe to me. I don't know. These um, like the. Surrounding does feel like vintage, you know, with the um, fireplace here, it's like. Ooh, and now, okay, now we have some like real high fashion outfit. It's like a, like a suit, pantsuit. Definitely means some business, you know, serious. Mina has that real duality in terms of like, she looks really serious and mysterious here, but then she also has the gummy smile that can just like light up your day, you know? But here we have high-end fashion Mina, 
this black swan mina. And then, see, from here to here, you always you already have like a um, lighter feel. But here, back to the like model, supermodel vibes, Mina. And here we have a softer. This is like a poolside Mina. That was right. It's poolside. And uh, I know this is just a pool, but this one gives me the Hawaii vibes. I know Mina's a really big fan of Hawaii. It's like a resort. This, I don't know, kind of gives me like some heiress vibes. Ooh. I wonder when she shot this because hopefully it wasn't too recent because it must have been real cold, right? Like super soaked in this dress. You know, you, from just looking at this, you wouldn't be able to tell if she was like uncomfortable because she looks perfectly in her element. This really does give, like I know I said it earlier, but supermodel vibes, you know? Like, she's being a perfect professional, even though she's in an outfit that's not meant for being in the water, submerged. This one feels like straight out of the shower, you know? Wet hair, a little more comfortable. Okay, well, I mean, just kidding, I was wrong. She's in the tub still, um, in another dress that's probably not meant to be in water. But... You know, you couldn't tell from looking at Mina. She looks perfectly comfortable. A true professional through and through. Oh, and here we have, okay, this is real, like, princess and ballet style. Guys, who's got to appreciate this? Ooh. She's definitely meant to be a celebrity, you know? I don't think you could mistaken Mina as anything other than a top star. I think this room itself is nice, you know? It's a little plain, but when Mina's in it, it's totally luxurious. It's pretty HD too, you can see like the different strands of hair. Now it's a high quality photo book. I think Mina said she had a lot of fun doing the shoot. But, okay, and here we have this legendary red dress. It's cocktail party ready. Like, fancy ball ready, you know? Like a grand ballroom. Spotlight. Stealing the spotlight. I mentioned princess vibes in the past pages. Here we have 100% queen vibes. You know, owns the room. Even in black and white, you can tell this is a bright red dress. It's like a real vintage mirror. You can see there's like, it's not 100% clear. Once again, Mina's stare. Yeah. The elegance is off the charts. Kind of uh, speechless here. I think every single concept they chose so far is something that's like uniquely Mina, right? These outfits, the settings, the 
staff definitely put a lot of time and effort into and even this like i don't think this is like you know traditional makeup but it looks good like legitimately looks really good on mina These images are just pure art. Whoa. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, I think out of the concepts, this is like the art one. And now we have some outdoorsy car. I believe it's a convertible shots into the desert. Whoa. So really give some, um, like, I don't know. This is also like some vintage vibes. More vintage America though, you know? And then last but not least, we have a letter from Mina. And that's it. So that's it for the pink version. Like I mentioned earlier, the other version, which is the gray version, I don't have it yet, but the cover is slightly different, or I mean, it is different. The contents though, pictures are gonna be identical. You're just gonna get different cover, different photo cards, and different accordion postcard book. So my friend Alice is gonna help me show you guys those things. All right, here we go. My friend Alice's house. Shout out to her dog, Cotton. Cotton loves Mina too. Yeah. Okay, going back to the books. So yeah, she has both versions. I asked her to just show us the photo cards and the accordion postcards from both because I wasn't sure which version that I got. I know they shipped one version to me because only one shipment went out out of my two shipments. So yeah, that's why there's two. She's gonna show both. Even though we saw one already, what's the harm seeing it again, right? So yeah, let's go ahead and I was gonna take over. All right. So here are the two books. Let's go accordion. Oh, upside down. Yes, I am Mina. <laughs> well, yes, I am Mina's. But more important, we here's her message. I'll put it back later. And then the pink one. Also, yes, I am Ina, but let's open it the right way. Our message. Is it the same? Oh, these are all this way, so let me. I think my dog ditched me. All right. Let's see the photo cards right here. Here's both of them. And the back just says, yes, I am Mina. Okay, that's this version. The other version. Oh, it's not there. It's on the back, it's not on the back. All right, I found it, I found it.
All right, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Back here with my only book right now. I 100% believe this is worth the money. Totally beautiful book. Like, you know, you saw this. All these amazing pictures of Mina. The concepts really, really fit her perfectly. The outfits, top notch. Everything, perfect. So, would I recommend this? Like a billion percent yes. Um, it is a little pricey, but it's well, well, well worth the money. So, yeah. With that said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.